Of course. Soon as you turn the mic on. Soon as you turn the mic on, and we're going to make it loud. Just slap things all over the place. You make a lot of noise. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Do, do, do. All right. Mm -hmm. Helps that I uh, shaved bef just just a little bit ago, because that would have made me look much older. Well, I guess it's dried now, but I did. Oh, I wet did. it down. Well, well I, sure. I used I con used some conditioner on it. Oh, good. Yeah, Cheryl, Cheryl said that might help when on the initial. Did you want to show the okay. on the volume? Yeah, get the other one too because we're almost done. Well, this will do, do the first one. Yeah, because we're... Yeah, because we'll be pouring that into that eventually. Mm-hmm. 20 volume with your bleach. Yes, I really like the Kaleidoscope colors from Clarial. It's really nice bleach. We've been pretty good. I was it last time we only needed one bleach? bleach no, no we, did, we did one in a touch up because mm -hmm. there were some rips that I missed. Mm, yeah. For the most part, it was one, one with just touch-ups. There's always going to be some spots you missed. And, yeah, we, we're by no means professionals, but we did get a crash course from a professional hairstylist, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we know that we need to get it pretty much as white as we can. True. At least try to. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited to do the versus dye thing. I'm sure my mom isn't. Good. No, I'm not thrilled. <laughs> well, at least with this, you can brush it, take the brush, and just... Just dip it. Dip it, and then I was thinking Pravana do the first half. Do the 
do like half and then the other half with the Xmondo. Okay. Wait, or were you, you wanting to go down the middle this way? Right? Yeah, that's what I was right. thinking. We were going to give it a shot. Yeah. See what comes out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't think anyone else has done this before. Well, it's always, it's, always the first time. <clears throat> I have seen multicolored dyes, but not a versus. Because Pravon is like my favorite so far. Of course, I have. I haven't tried any others yet. Yeah, that first one that said it was violet and it came out flamingo pink. Mm, you know, that was... That was something I, else. I mean, none of the dyes that I have tried don't stink really bad, though. At least mm -hmm. there's that. <laughs> okay. Not like the bleach. That always st stinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me set that there. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have more clip things too. Yes, we do. Uh, your hair is still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still. And you're wanting to do. We're doing just the roots, right? Uh, and we're yeah. going to leave the yellow and red, and she'll cut off whatever when we get it. Mm -hmm. Get your hair cut next week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> New clips we got are, are way better. Mm, so yes. hopefully this will be easier. I like how this turned out last time, so we'll see how the purple goes. Oh, and I may have to raise that stand. Probably. Something new. I haven't had a stand before. Hoping it'll make it easier. clear across the counter to, to get at this. So. Because otherwise this gets really boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're just watching somebody glob stuff on your head. It's <laughs> the easiest way to record so I don't have to worry about space and shit. Oh, true. And I did it, it was just 
chatting so that people know that it's gonna not really you know, get the title that's reaching my hair so they know that it's not gonna be all that exciting. No, <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> Waiting for the hair to, yeah, to, to cure, no, yeah, nobody wants to watch that. Get the same hoops this time, so it's, mm -hmm. we we this is where I missed last time, so. Mm -hmm. Move the mat out of the way this time. <laughs> well, it, it's the cart's on the, on the slope. Looks like most of the red is faded from mm, before. Yeah. Yeah, it's more, that's more of a coral pinkish color. It, yeah, I still like it. It's mm -hmm. yeah. from the bright red faded down to a beautiful, beautiful shade of coral. Mm -hmm. 
almost well, almost salmon. Mm, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to do purple next. It's actually going to be two different products. It's going to be Provana and Ex Mondo. Do you want to show that? I don't know if you want to show them or not. <laughs> no, we're not really no. going to be doing color today. Don't no, I'm not going to do color today. I... We're just doing bleach today. Yeah. It's a long process. <laughs> mm. well, you, I mean, you, technically, it's, you can do bleach and color at the same day, but it's actually better to do bleach one day and then color the next day. Probably do it if you get completely dry out your hair. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to bleach it out too because sometimes I mix some. Yeah, just uh, doing, doing the roots. Basically, is what I'm doing because I what I've been doing recently is leaving the well, trying to leave as much of the original color and then doing the uh, my roots in whatever color I feel like, which of course is going to be um, purple this time. I used to do my hair all all one color, but I it's just recently that I've been doing different colors. And was it, well, yellow was the newest color from last time that I did. I've done green, yellow, purple, um, that red, yeah, that, that color. <laughs> See? Well, the purple is actually a violet, I think. Is mm -hmm. it? That first one that they said was neon violet was actually really, really pink. And I don't know if that neon was... Neon purple is what it said. Yeah, this one says violet. Violet, yeah. This one's super purple. So we'll see with two-tone with the different dyes, how it's going to come out. Mm. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I looked at both of them and they look almost identical. Yeah.
what? one to get to stick I think is what yeah I think so I think it's like the hairstylist would say yeah well the green turned a turquoise color just mm, yeah. it was really pretty but yeah it's and it faded to a from green to turquoise to a lighter blue Say that you can. I might use like the a cap this time because I guess it's basically if it's moist, it'll keep lightening the hair. But if it dries out, then it's pretty much so. I might do the cap this time. I'm going to use the oven for the timer since the phone's occupied with the stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. my, hair, my head looked like I've been beaten up. Blue and purple <laughs> is what some are saying. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that side will move to the clear to the back. You're not fighting your hair this time as much because you dampened it first. I just mm -hmm. think we'll do that next time too. <laughs> Need your glasses? Uh, even if I had the glasses on, I couldn't see the, just the chest. Oh, 
so small. Um. Uh, yes, I have the tablet so that I can see chat, yes. <laughs> I'm using my phone for the stream, so. But it's gonna, it's gonna be fun because I kind of have to do what my mom, where my mom put my head though, the other thing, because I can't really be watching all the time. Yeah, coming up. I just went to the restroom downstairs. And okay, no... he's recording, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> You can add pertinent comments if you want. We're just today. Yeah. It's pretty much a two day process. Yeah. This is going pretty fast though. Mm -hmm. Sean dampened his hair down and put some cream rinse on it so it's so it goes on easier. It's 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 I'm not fighting his hair as much. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's what I mean. It's conditioner. Conditioner in. <clears throat> so you washed your, you took a shower and everything, washed your hair first. No, he, no, just, he just shaved and. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. No, because he's going to do that later. Well, well, that's true. He rinses everything yeah. out. <clears throat> yeah, it'll get frizz. It'll get really frizzy if you wash it too much. Yeah. 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 So no need doing it again before. Well, you don't want to shampoo the hair because that, that's bad. That well, gets that, rid of all the oils to yeah. protect your, the ble bleach from Irritate. killing your scalp. scalp I mean, yeah. it still sometimes does though. Sores only if we're doing like a buttload of bleach, though, like four or five times. Right. Because sometimes it doesn't take. Hopefully, this will. Well, I'm not sure. I mean. Well, hopefully, I'll get most of it. 
Last time I had to touch it up. Well, touch it's I'm not as bad as uh, a whole head. Yeah, yeah, a whole head of bleach. Mm. Mostly, usually, though, it's too. There's too. It's too golden. It doesn't mm, right. get mm. down to. Doesn't get down to white, which is what it where it needs to be. Would leaving the bleach on longer do that? No, no, no that really. just burns your head. Ooh. That's well, why you do it. It's, yeah, that's you why just, you time it. You time it and you bleach it a second time if it's. Let's hope one does. Well, the, uh, uh, if it's not. It fun doesn't fun. really burn it. It just doesn't. It, over time, it loses its strength. So. Right. Oh, bleach the bleach does? Does, no. loses its strength if you that's why you, it's critical to get it on quickly. Okay, well, I'll go back downstairs. Okay. <laughs> stuck a trap down there to see if we can yeah. get rid of them. Hello. Hello. Being Hikari and Smith. Hello. <laughs> and Coda too. And Ryan. Touch. Yeah. Didn't say hi to, but knew we were there. And talking to the chat. Bleach is always going to be take the longest because it's not like the dye where you can slap that everywhere. The bleach you have to be careful because you're for this we're trying to just do the roots and not the colors. So so yeah, that's fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, not always successful. Mm -hmm. You get drips and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Usually by the end, the end product usually looks okay, but... What's that? <laughs> bleach, dirt. Oh, on your neck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I know she'll shave this when mm -hmm. you go in to get your hair cut next week, but it's nice to have it. In case she doesn't shave up as far mm -hmm. as I think she wanted to. to have that covered too. Yeah, the goal is to have the roots turn to a white color so that the, although the dyes, the, we haven't used the Mondo dye before, but the, is the Pravana, the Pravana dye covers really well. 
and we've done violet before in the Bravana, and it's a it's a gorgeous shade of violet. I guess I better do this side. <laughs> I was stingy on the other side mm -hmm. last time, and this time I'm going to forget this side, which is not be a good idea. <laughs> you can tell when you went where you miss because mm -hmm. you know the hair color, actual hair color, shows through. Some of the some of the backs starting to lighten up already, so that's nice. good. <laughs> nice mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my hair is wild right now. <laughs> <laughs> table makes it really nice so I don't have to reach across a giant space
Mm-hmm. What twist the light? <laughs> what? My I, my eyebrows too and doing doing the two purples on on both of my eyebrows doing doing Fafana on one and the Mondo on the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm. that would be funny. She wants to fall forward for a change instead of sticking straight up.
Usually either or, unless yours goes do 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 like ours does. Well, no to both of those. It's not, we're, we're not professional hairstylists and and no I'm not falling asleep it's just <laughs> that I close my eyes because it, it's basically getting a scalp massage so it feels nice even though the ble bleach is itchy as heck that's the other thing I don't care about the bleach is it oh, it's itch itch and it stinks itchy and stinky yes <laughs> Although this isn't as bad as mm -hmm. some. For stinkiness. I don't know about itchiness, but stinkiness is not as stinky as some. <coughs> Look like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> You don't have a top hat on, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> yeah. The hat won't be black for long. Mm. Nope. It better turn white. Some of this we got earlier is turning white. So, 
That's a good point. Got it. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like I even have to mix up any extra this time. Mm -hmm. So I think the conditioning helped at the beginning. this again because it looks like I might be missing something <laughs> which is where I got missed it before with right in the front which is where you don't want it to where you don't want to miss you want to miss in the back where it's not noticeable if you're going to miss anywhere I don't want to miss there either, but okay. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. No, I think we're good for the first run. Well, let me let me do this side down here. Not that. Okay, do the eyebrow thing too. Oh, did you want to do your eyebrows? Mm -hmm. So I can close my eyeball. Mm, okay. I don't know. It looks like your eyebrows are like your natural hair color, which was. 
wand at one time. Okay, I'm going to get your eyebrows too. At least your eyebrows have color. Your, your poor sister, hers were so thin that. Oops, sorry. I don't think it didn't even. But she didn't even look like she had eyebrows. So. Mm. <laughs> Lightly close. Irritate your eyeball. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's not a big deal. It's not like having them purple all over. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, that's mm -hmm. bleach. It won't kill you for a little while. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're good. Okay. Bleach you can rinse out in the sink. Don't recommend it for hair color, especially the violet. You want to use a sink that's not going to stain. So, oh, well, I always wash your tools out in the porcelain sink downstairs mm -hmm. and then, then rinse the porcelain out right away. It doesn't work well on Corian. It turns it bright purple. <laughs> Did you try to make sure? Yes. We'll leave this a little bit in case I miss some spots. Mm -hmm. oh, you want me to put a cap on? No, okay. Let you do something. Oh, I'll let you do. Do I'll let you do whatever you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Just a little tip if you have leftover bleach from your fun job. We have a Corian sink in, in our powder room that has some stains in it. We just slather it on there and leave it and rinse it out later. And it's pulled most of the stains out of the sink, so it is a good thing. <clears throat> And if you want, I can watch some Brad Mondo videos in case you guys didn't know what, who, uh, what the X Mondo brand was or anything. But yeah, yeah, we can do a video of that too. Uh, wait, what? Hmm. 
thought I was subscribed to to him already. And it, okay, weird. Hello, beautiful. Sure, let's watch this one. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. If I have food in my teeth at all during this video, it's because I just ate so much food. I built my tummy up and it felt so good. <laughs> A little story before I start watching these videos. So I haven't been like really super on social media lately. I started looking up some stuff randomly. I was just like, hey, what's going on with the butterfly cup these days? <laughs> Holy sh! You guys, I knew it was a big thing, but like there is a lot of videos with a lot of views and a lot of people doing it. So um, today we're gonna watch people try and do my butterfly cut. Hopefully it looks good and hopefully I did you well and didn't help you mess up your hair and I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of responsibility to like give you the tools to do a really good haircut to yourself at home with no hair experience. And that's a hard task. And holy sh do I get hate for you guys. <laughs> Those hairdressers out there be mad at me for giving you the tools to do your own hair. I'm sorry. Cuff me and take me away, police. Uh, because I guess I deserve to be arrested. <laughs> sorry not everybody goes to a salon to get their hair done. Sorry that I want to help people be able to feel confident in their bodies through their hair and give them the tools to do it at home for nearly zero dollars. So fuck all you hairdressers out there who give me a hard fuck time because I make people's hair look good through the internet. <laughs> Let's watch people follow my butterfly cut tutorial and let's see if they can do it right and follow the directions. And hopefully there isn't any tragic messes because I don't want any blood on my hands or no, there's no good joke here. I was gonna say hair clippings on my hands. Like that doesn't make any sense. Up first, we have a video by Jenna Phillips. I have just been thinking lately for like a week now that I really want to change up my hair because just this past couple months, all I do is just wear my hair up in a ponytail because I'm just like not happy with my hair. It's just very flat and boring. Instead of going to a hairdresser, I feel like I should cut my own hair. I get it now. I get why every hairdresser in the world hates me. She was gonna go to the hairdresser and now she's doing it herself. I'm actually sorry. I don't even know how to curl my hair, let alone do anything with my hair. For some reason, I feel like I could probably do it. Can you though? If you can't even curl your hair, how are we gonna chop a Rooney the boonie? Seems a little sketchy, but also like exciting. I can't wait to see what she does. I have not really touched my hair to cut it. I've always gotten cut somewhere else. So for some reason, I think this is gonna be a great idea because I watched one YouTube tutorial and now I feel like I'm a hairstylist. Ah! I love that. I love that I can make you guys feel like... <coughs> I love that I can make you guys feel like you're a hairdresser through one single hair tutorial. I'm gonna try the butterfly cut at home. It's supposed to be easier. It looks easy where you just put your hair in two ponytails and then you trim. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time. To be completely honest with you, every time I come to do a reaction video to butterfly cuts, I literally forget how to do a butterfly cut. And I'm the one who told you guys how to do it. And I don't even know how to do it. Usually when I record these videos, I have to like rewatch my own tutorial because I'm like, wait, what am I doing? What are you supposed to be doing? Brush it all the front. I hopefully that's even. I don't know. It looks even enough. So she, what she has to do is find the apex of her head, which is the highest point of your head. And then we get a bring the sectioning down or parting to behind the ears. And then Ponytail, boom, right on the forehead. Unicorn moment, chopperoonie, you know what I mean? Let's just put it into a ponytail and then I can fix it if I need to fix it. This is gonna be so good for her hair. Her hair is more on the finer, thinner side. So adding layers to her hair will really enhance the volume and body and movement on her hair. And it's gonna look so sexy and much more full and full of life as well. Okay, we did it. And then for the rest of the hair, I'm just supposed to put it into a ponytail. Can I just like flip it over? I feel like that'd be easier. Like this. You want that ponytail in the back so fucking high. To the sky, to the heavens, to Jesus Christ. Boom. And you gotta make sure all those bumps, lumps, and humps are out of the hair. Ooh, ooh. Originally, <laughs> I was just gonna put my hair into two like side ponytails and trim it that way. Why are you using a scrunchie though? You went all the way to Sally Beauty Supply and got all your supplies, but didn't get any hair ties. What a surprise. Isn't that... Uh, Trying to wrap, but 
That's all I got for you. Three, three lines. I mean, I guess scrunches are fine, but like definitely not optimal. For some reason, I thought this would be less risky, but now that I'm like doing this, I feel like this is a lot more risky. Anytime you're cutting your hair or coloring your hair at home, it's gonna be risky. So let's see if you can accomplish the task. If that parting on the side is looking ratchet. Why is it going like this? Da, 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 da. It's gonna go, ah, I'm really getting nervous for her. So in Brad Mondo's trail, he legit just cut off like half of this. I feel like my hair is a little bit longer than the mannequin he's cutting. I'm not gonna go halfway. I think we're gonna start with maybe like four inches. You gotta cut off a lot or you don't see a difference. I swear. I even have a ruler. <laughs> Those ends need to go. I'm gonna be so satisfied when those ends drop to the flow because they gotta go. Like they are just hanging on there. There's like one strand and it's like, Beep, I wanna go. I'm gonna cut it here. Not sure if it's enough. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, she cut a lot. I'm getting a little nervous though. Please look good, please look good, please look good. Now for the back piece. I'm gonna use my ruler again because I really just don't wanna mess this up and we're gonna do about the same. So am I gonna regret this? Probably. I can't tell yet. I can tell. It looks so good so far. It looks really, really good. Like we're getting somewhere great. <gasps> you know, it's not looking bad. I don't I don't know if it looks any different yet. I just maybe I didn't cut off enough because you can see it's a lot shorter in the front here. Ah! I'm starting to see the vision come to life. The life is coming to life. The vision is coming to life. Life, life. I had a green tea today. Blueberry tea packet in, and I put a green tea packet in. So it's like a blueberry green tea moment. And it's really giving me a lot of energy, I must say. Taking a break from um matcha because I'm thinking I'm allergic to oat milk. That is such a fucking lie. I literally had two matchas today, but it was with water and not oat milk. I'm taking a break from oat milk, which fucked up my matcha consumption because I love an oat milk matcha. <gasps> if anybody knows what to do about an oat milk allergy, like what can I take? Leave a comment down below because it's not fun for me at all. Like imagine being allergic to oat milk. I'm kind of feeling like cutting off more. Oh, I don't know. It looks good the way it is. I don't know if we should cut anymore. That's risky. Start with the back. Maybe like two more inches. I don't want to go crazy and cut off like a decent amount more because, you know, I feel like just a little bit more would be better. I just cut off like two more inches. Oh my God, she's really going for it. Okay, in the front. Am I gonna regret this? You might. Okay, just do it. I don't know. I think it looks good. I don't know. I think this is going to be quite nice, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it might be as well. I got some nice framing in my face. They're not too shortened. I can probably just, you know, redo this all over again after I style it. Or I can just kind of trim them a bit shorter if I like. I'm just going to try to smooth in these out so it's more, I don't know, smooth. That's a good word. That's smooth, right? JK, I think I want to do it one more time. I feel like I cut a little bit more off the back than the front, so let's just trim it one more time. Oh, sh she's going for round three. <laughs> oh, two wasn't enough? We're really gonna test our luck today? Round three. Stop there. We're done. Put the scissors down, call it a day. We're done. That's a lot of hair. She cut a lot. <laughs> I got this brush and I got a blow dryer, so. She's gonna style her hair and we're gonna see the final results. Oh, I don't even know what to expect anymore. I did it! And it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm actually really surprised about that because I was going into this mentally preparing to probably have a breakdown. Doesn't look that bad. It looks amazing. What? It actually turned out somewhat decent. I'm not gonna say the way I styled my hair. Is that great? This was my first time doing Loa with a hair dryer. I am very happy with myself. I made my hair better. For your first blot and your first <laughs> album cut, you rocked it. The moment in the front with the face framing and the layers in the back and you cut off so much hair and I told you the more you cut, the better it looks. This looks amazing on you and I'm so glad you chose to do this because the layers have really given you more life. Fabulous job. Up next, we have a video by April G. 
This is currently what my hair looks like. It's pretty long, but it's also really thin. Oh my God, April, I am so excited for this one. April, come here. Those ends need to go low, whoa. Bye, down the drain, in the trash, wherever you wanna put it. I don't care where they go, but they can't stay in your head. Hey everyone, it's April. Today's video, I'm gonna be following Brad Mondo's guide to the butterfly haircut. This is currently what my hair looks like. It's pretty long, but it's also really thin. It's maybe around an inch and a half above my uh, belly button. Also, I wanted to be like that 99% of the people who don't follow the instructions and don't with their hair, but I have a good reason. I wanted to give him a heart attack. I'm joking. You wanted to give me a heart attack? <laughs> okay. Oh. April. <laughs> because my hair is severely damaged, like it's wet, this is what happens. Watch what happens. Okay, hold on. Get a dinner. Peace. April, please don't do what you're about to do. Please don't do it. <laughs> April, don't ever do that again. Your hair is so compromised. It says to start from the apex down to your ear, and then I'm gonna do the other side. Um, I think this should be good right there, right? Whoa, the sectioning looks dope. Good job with that one. Something I forgot to mention is that, you know, the butterfly cut is a very like layered, feathery haircut. I really don't like layers on me, but you know, I, I just need a haircut. April, come here again. Layers are everybody's friend. You could not tell me anybody looks good without layers. You can feel good about yourself without them. But when all the weight of your hair sits at the bottom, it doesn't compliment your face any which way. It doesn't make any sense. Even like one of those like really stick straight bobs that just like are blunt, like it's not doing anything for your face, babe. The layers are the moment. And then we're supposed to grab it like right here so that we can look like unicorns. Section looks impeccable and the ponytail looks impeccable. There's no bumps, there's no humps, and there's no lumps. All right, so I'm looking pretty weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one on top and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we are ready. Yo, I got people putting ponytails on their foreheads. <gasps> I'm sorry for that one. All right, anyway, this is what it looks like. Here's the back. So he does say to point it down. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Please cut a lot, please cut a lot, please cut a lot. That's pretty straight. This is how much I took off. A good three, four inches. It's a good six inches and about two hairs. Okay, now let's do the top. You're supposed to just point it upwards. April, come on, we gotta do more. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it like right about here. Gotta make sure those bumps are out of that hair before you cut it. When you're combing it or brushing it up, make sure it is straight and perfect. I see lumps, I see bumps, I'm worried. Mm -hmm. But my ends are softer now. What? Yo, you took so much off. I'm so proud of you. All right, so here we are about to reveal. Time for the reveal. I have a feeling it's going to be too short. Okay, so I don't know about doing a blowout, but I'll probably just like use um, something to curl my hair. But that looks pretty good, actually. Look, it like falls. So I did a really good job. This isn't really short, actually. The way that the face trimming is just flawless makes me just glow from the inside out, you know, with pink light and gayness. It's like <laughs> still long because it's still, you know, all the way down here. That's the great part about the butterfly cut is it's not cutting your length unless you cut like literally maybe too much off. But it's really working on the layers and the, in the, the structure on the top rather than the bottom. Does that make sense? So my hair is dry now and it is ready to be styled. Time to see it styled. Moment of truth. I think I love it. I think it has a lot of uh, texture. It now looks like I have a lot of hair coming from a person who has very thin and a little bit of hair. So now it looks like I have a lot. I love it. <laughs> The hair is back, baby. Oh my God. Yo, it looks so much thicker and fuller and beautiful and healthier. Thank God you did this cut. Also, you didn't ask me, but I would love to see like a warmer blonde on you. Like the cool of the moment, but like a warmer blonde would look really good with your skin tone. But great job. Up next, we have a video by Nicole Consilio. This is either gonna be the best idea I've ever had or gonna send me into a depression state. I hope it doesn't send you into a depression state. I would hate to be responsible for that. I really wanna try the butterfly haircut. This haircut was made popular by Brad Mondo. I've seen a lot of people do it well, and I've also seen a lot of people tank. So I'm hoping that I'll be one of the people that do it well. 
Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> she has curly hair also, so this is gonna be a bit of a different type of vibe. You can still do the haircut on curly hair. It's literally gonna come out the same way as if you had straight hair but your hair is curly. You also have to make sure when you're cutting curly hair like this, that you're taking into consideration the fact that your curls will bounce back up. So when you're pulling your hair straight out and cutting it, it's gonna be a lot shorter than what you're cutting. Does that make sense? Like it's gonna go from here to here. So take that into consideration when you're cutting curly hair, especially in this way. Basically what I watched is you want to separate your hair from the top the very top of your scalp it should come out to behind your ears yes that is correct you win brad okay. kept saying that your hair needs to be soaking wet so i'm gonna grab my spray bottle and i also want to put in some leave-in conditioner to make it easier to do <laughs> finally everybody starts to listen to me about the wet hair thing do you know how long this took me to get people to wet their hair before they do my haircuts it's 10 years this is my favorite leave-in conditioner i use about that much for my hair that's also a good tip to put leave-in conditioner in your hair before you start cutting because this is a lot of like combing it up over here over there doing ponytails you want to make sure your hair is nice and slippery so it's easy to style before you do the cut brad said if you like laid a brush on top of your head you'll find where the apex is and you basically want to take your comb and make oh i think i did it we love a queen that listens nicole what's up we have one section down and the next section down i have to peek through to make sure that this is done in an even manner okay but based off of the struggle we're having right now with getting this hair up into a ponytail in the front of her head i'm a little concerned about how the rest of the cut is gonna go i think that this is an accurate pretty accurate yeah it looks good enough you're going to bring all of these hairs to the front and tie it in a little unicorn vibe so it should look something like this we're gonna go ahead and tie this it's like nicole why don't you just go get a haircut no anything with diy i need to do it wow it's so <laughs> much fun doing your own hair and nicole you better get that ponytail cleaner and tighter because that is not gonna make the cut the first section i think is done uh-oh nicole you watched a lot of my video but for some reason we didn't put the ponytail in the right place the ponytail goes here not here here not here, here. What are we doing? But he kind of said it should be like in the middle of your eyebrows. Yay! <laughs> okay, she fixed it. <laughs> when I watched the video, he said like in the middle of your forehead eyebrows area. So I don't know if that's like this. Maybe that's this. We'll just do this instead. Even though it's literally the same thing. It's fine. No, it's a little bit better. The first piece is section. He basically said you want to brush your hair up in a very, very, very high ponytail. Don't miss any pieces. When I watched other girls do this tutorial, basically the way that they had done it was they had an object in their hand as something to measure. Maybe it would be about this much off. That's like, I would want to say it's like, what, like four inches? I love the idea of getting a random object from your house and like using it as a measuring stick. I mean, go off. That works. It's just like a funny way of doing it. Enough with the dramatics here. Let's just do it. <gasps> Nicole. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take these and just kind of like cut upward. One thing about me is I don't like the whole blunt ends. That's not my journey. Okay, we did it. He said when you cut this one, you wanna cut it on an angle forward and this one you wanted to just cut forward. So you're not cutting it like this. I want her to cut off so much more hair. Ah, more. I didn't wanna cut much length off the back. You can just do it. We can always put this back up, you know what I mean? But we can't add more hair. So I'm just being very, very, you know, sparing with this. Okay, I think it's time to take it out of its situation. All right, I mean, we didn't cut a lot, but let's see what the result is. Okay, so far so good. Like you can really see the layers here. Oh, the layers are looking so good so far. This is gonna bring her hair to life. She has finer hair. This cut is gonna be perfect, especially when she wears her hair curly. This is gonna look fire. So let's see it blow dry. Let's see it. Here is what we're looking like. And I feel like it looks so good. I'm loving the layers. You can really see it when I like move and bounce my hair. Oh my God, I feel like it looks so good. This was a success. We did not end this in a panic attack. Oh. <laughs> 
was way better than I thought I was gonna look. What? How did you do that? And your hair is so shiny. Everything just came together and it looks fabulous. Great job. Ah, oh, you killed it. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for making your videos, you guys. I love watching them and it's just like so much fun that I get to make the tutorials and you get to follow them and then you get a good result and then I get to watch them and I get to feel good. And it's just a circle of love and happiness and beautiful hair. And uh, yeah, you make me love what I do. If you want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So, yeah, that's, that's who Brad Mondo is and what the uh, hair dye that I have for... Uh, I've got purple, green, and red that I have of his dyes, which, of course, I'm going to do that, the coloring tomorrow, and, of course, I'm going to do a, another stream of, of doing the color stuff, too. All right, I'll uh, get the... I'll get some gloves on and uh, get the bleach off here. I've got pur purple gloves on, of course. I take the cap off here. All right, guys. Let's uh, see what it looks like when. Uh, when I hit get the bleach off of my hair and I am going to use some conditioner and still not going to do any shampoo until I probably will do shampoo but uh, that's going to be at when I have like the hair at the right uh, color like as white as it can be so for now I'm going to do conditioner to rinse out the uh, bleach.
Okay, here we go. Wash off the conditioner. Get the towel and dry my hair, and then I'll blow dry it. All right, so it's actually pretty nice looking. Um, does look like there is some. Does look like there is still some touch-up that needs to be done. But yeah, for the most part it looks pretty, pretty good. And it might be hard to see it uh, is almost there it's pretty much there except for like some touch-up that needs to be done yeah the the top here looks like it needs some touch-up But yeah, on camera it might be hard to f um, see that my roots are fairly good. Uh, they're pretty fairly white, um, but it's hard to tell on camera because, of course, the yellow, uh, they're the yellow in the previous dye uh, makes it kind of difficult to tell. But yeah, in person I can tell it's some, it's pr pretty much there except for some touch-up that needs done. Of course I don't know, I haven't seen the back, so, so, I have no idea if this is showing anything or not, but, 
But yeah, let me blow dry the hair and get it dry. Yeah, you should have seen it when uh, when I first put on the yellow and the red was still a good red. Uh, it looked like I had flame, flaming, flame red uh, and yellow uh, hair. All right, so I'm gonna do some blow drying here. gonna change I'm actually uh, just doing the roots of my hair not changing the whole thing just doing the roots so that's what I've been doing pretty much that's why there's uh, red for the tips and yellow for this like the center mid mid uh, hair but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do purple dye it's gonna be a versus it's gonna be a versus thing with uh well my current favorite hair dye which is pravana um and i picked up x mondo purple you know tomorrow we're gonna do a versus and see see which one wins the uh the contest of uh, which one I like like best <laughs> or it could be a tie because from the uh, from just looking at both of them they both look similar but we'll see but yeah I'll get back to drying my hair with the dr hair hair dryer
Uh, with my hair, the problem is, is it's thick. I have thick hair, so. So it takes a little bit longer, even though it's not too long. It's a little damp in spots, so I think I'll hit my hair a little bit more. Getting the inspector in to inspect my hair. Some reason that area is all kind of dark. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's more. More yellow than white. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Needs another go. Now that's white on this side. Maybe it's just because maybe it's dark off. Need some touch up here. And part of it is going to be yellow because that's what the last color. The last was. color was. Yeah, I know. Is that? Hard to tell if it's white or yellow down there. <laughs> Here. Yeah. And it's your part. It needs, it needs, yeah, the whole top looks like it needs to be redone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
maybe I mix up some fresh, some yeah. fresh bleach, because, oh, sorry, boy, not much red left, that's probably going to get all cut off, so you're going to have purple and yellow, mm -hmm. which isn't bad, all right. Didn't I buy you another bowl? No, oh no, it was the just brush. the brush. That's right, never mind. Dirt. It was the brush. So the brain's not all there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do two ounces and one ounce. Mm. I still have, I think I still have. Oh yeah, I got another, another scoop here. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. This is Oregon. We never have too much sunlight, right? Well, when we started it, the, the sun wasn't beating through the through the window. window. <laughs> we have to break open the gallon. Now, did you want to use? A gallon and fill the smaller bottle? Probably. Mm. We'll not, not do that right now. But. Mm. <laughs> Just turn that up somewhere. Oh boy. You shouldn't have to shake this, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know either. We're going to do it. I don't think so. I don't think so.
Looks pretty good, but we are going to need to do some touch-ups here, so. Yeah. That's weird. Mm -hmm. What was that? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, the longer part's fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Up your part, not so much. <laughs> Quiver off the countertop. Far back seems fine. It's just the front is where it's important. More important.
it's lighter, but it's for some reason it's not as light as it should be. I can tell, I can still see the difference between the dark, bright yellow and the, mm -hmm. the bleach. So. This is looking pretty white. Get closer to the front. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not much red left, but that's what happens when you rinse the stuff out. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Get right in front again. Well, 
well, it's really close. You see, see some darkness right in your scalp line. That's pretty good. Down here, this one. Oh, yeah, that's what I missed. Back to your younger blonde self. <laughs> Because we started at the other side in the in the back, so it's lighter over on that side. I'll make sure that this is light too. That looks better. All right. Looks like you're on for another, what, 45 minutes? How would you wait? My hands are, oh yeah, <laughs> get some bleach on my fingers. <laughs>
happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want them bad boys, bad, 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 bad boys. I just want them bad boys, bad, 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 bad boys.
All right, guys. Let's do the blow dry, and I think we're there for tomorrow's to do tomorrow's dyeing. I'm gonna try and get today's bleaching up, but I am going to cut it because um, I'm going to basically um, basically going to. Uh, like at Brad Mondo uh, when I do upload it and it's I am going to upload it to my main channel instead of my second channel so so yeah but anyways let me uh, blow dry my hair
here. Okay, well, I think I might get the inspector up here one more time, and then I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do to force myself to actually edit the video is I'm going to go live on my computer itself, and, uh, and then I have to wait for the VOD to process and stuff before I can download it, so I think that's what I'm going to do is do that um, after I get this inspected and all that. Um, so yeah, I do want to kind of have the uh, transition flawlessly, so I'll probably uh, have the stream on the phone for a while. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, let me get the the e inspector in here, and I don't think it'll need any more. But we'll. But I just want to make sure before I before we close this part of it. See how we're doing? It's looking good. Um, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, we should be ready for dying tomorrow. Good. I think for tomorrow I'm gonna try and do the camera in front here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that looks good. It's up tonight. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna force myself to. Uh, I'm gonna go live on my PC and download it right as soon as I can because it has to do the processing first, and then well, I have to stop the stop the stream on on the phone and then wait for it to process. So. Oh, great. Oh, that was you. <laughs>